that special touch of God. So, good afternoon. Actually, it's still morning. It's 11.30 in the morning. And we are live Facebook on BD Local for you. BD Local is a phenomenal video podcasting service in our local area, serving the greater Tacoma, Seattle area, and beyond, actually, even though we're BD local, we're beyond, because we are on all the social media, we're on uh, YouTube, we're on certainly the BD local app, bdlocal.us, you can find us there, and so we really welcome you to our podcast. I'm Carol Stanley, with that special touch of God's excellence, because he put that excellence in you. And I've got Catherine Evans, one of my wonderful sponsors with me today. Catherine is a fabulous insurance broker. You can reach her at kevans at strategicinsurancesolutions.net or you can call her at 253-861-2959. Uh, We're going to make a jingle out of oh, that. I, that I do you? have that down. <laughs> so just a couple quick minutes because we have another guest today, Christine Rose, and you're going to love her also. And so anyway, Catherine is, uh, Catherine is here to just give you some real like, what are you doing right now? So Catherine, take it away. Well, thank you, Carol. It's good to be here today. I just want to remind <coughs> everyone, if you haven't yet funded your 2018 IRA, now is the time to do it. Please feel free to give us a call at 253-861-2959. 253-861-2959 or email us at kevans at strategicinsurancesolutions.net. Yes. kevans at strategicinsurancesolutions.net. And also, if you know you've gotten your health insurance and your Medicare insurance and you're just getting to the point where you're actually maybe using it, but you, there are some surprises. Maybe that one doctor that you were so sure was in network is not. Or some prescription drugs that cost so much more than you anticipated. Or your co-pays when you go to the doctor are higher than you would like for them to be. Or maybe you went to the gym and that gym is not in network and you were told it would be. Now is the time to do something about that. Call your broker or if you are not currently working with a broker, feel free to give me a call and I can help you out. My phone number is 253-861-2959, 253-861-2959, or you can email me at kevans at strategicinsurancesolutions.net. K Evans at strategic right. insurance and solutions. solutions. Net. Net. And what about if they filed their taxes? Well, if they filed their taxes, they can always do an amended return. Right on. So, you yeah. know, you want to put that money in because there's only so much you're allowed to put in every year. So you want to take advantage of that because retirement comes more quickly than we uh, than we think it will. And a big amen. <laughs> yes. yes. So, so thank <laughs> you, Carol, so much. Thank so you. And we're going to switch seats out yes. here. So thank you so much, yes. Catherine. Yes. Love you. Thank Have you. a fabulous rest of your here. day. Catherine Evans listens and guides you in developing a personal and financial plan that reflects your values and goals. And she is so easy to talk to. Remember, this is Medicare Open Enrollment Time. Contact Catherine Evans at kevans at strategicinsurancesolutions.net or call her at 253-861-2959. Again, that's kevans at strategicinsurancesolutions.net. Have you ever struggled with stage or screen nerves or confidence or wanting to present at your best but just didn't know how? I'm Carol Stanley, and it's my passion to see you transform into the awesome person you were meant to be. To speak or sing at your best and make the difference in this world you were meant to make. In my book, Born to be Awesome, a guide to presenting with brilliance on stage or camera through the power of God in you, a few of the things you will discover are that your nerves are your best friend, how to access the sweet spot of your voice, how to obtain the key that unlocks greatness in you, and what you think truly does matter. I am here to guide you to discover your significance, who you truly are. I give you the secrets and tools to speaking and presenting with confidence and brilliance on any stage or camera as you tap into the power of God in you. 
Readers tell me that they feel like they've spent hours talking to me, their own personal coach. It's time to turn your stage fright into excitement and God-given brilliance, becoming your true self, bold, brave, excellent, and awesome. Start today with my book and coaching. I look forward to helping you blossom in God's garden of excellence. Have you taken expensive training on how to sell? Most of us do. But have you ever wondered why people buy from you or not? Hi, I'm Carol Stanley, voice performance coach and certified trainer focusing on training business professionals to step up to new levels in professional communication, presentation skills, and taking their sales and revenue to new levels. I want to share with you a system I use and train others to use that's called Bank Code, which can increase your sales 300% or more. Bank Code gives you the secrets, the science, and the solutions to knowing why people buy from you. Salespeople often feel most comfortable sharing from their lens or personality style instead of their clients. Speaking only your language may be the number one reason why you're not rocking your sales or being effective in your relationships. Bank Code is scientifically proven to accurately predict buying behavior of your prospect in less than 90 seconds. Through face-to-face -face and online training, I help you understand your client's language and communication style so you can customize each of your sales presentations to meet their needs, maximize your effectiveness, and increase your sales in less time. Go to mybankcode.com slash clstanley. Use the password CL Stanley, all one word, and save $100 and more. I think you will find your results informative as they are based on your biology. I look forward to helping you turn your no's into yeses and, in fact, improve all your relationships. So we have with us Christine Rose of Christine Rose Coaching and Consulting. And welcome, Christine. Hi, Carol. Thank good. You. I want you to speak right it into... It is so good yeah. to be here. Thank you. Rock and roll. So good to have you here. So, yeah. Is that right? How's that? Better. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank Very you. good. Going to get just these little technical things out of the way. So, Christine, I dearly love... I know that you are a woman of faith, as am I. And so tell me, um, how does that play into your coaching? Oh, my gosh. You know, the scripture commands us to be strong in the Lord and yes. in his might, in yes. his amazing, authentic, powerful might. And so when, when women come to me and they're not empowered, uh, we, we just get right down to business and figure out what is getting in the way. Yes, and we want to yes. be obedient to that. So um, there yes. is a lot of opportunity <clears throat> to be strengthened, and coaching is a, a proven tool. It sure people. is. So it really how, is. Because both of us are coaches. Yeah. yeah, I want you to speak really close. Play like you're eating an ice cream okay, cone. thank you. Oh, perfect. You. First Rock time, and first roll. First timer, guys. Thank you. No, it's awesome. I love it. And so thank you. You are beautiful. I love having you. a beautiful blonde on camera. It's so cool. <laughs> we, got, oh, we got two beautiful blondes on camera. <laughs> and our camera is right there in the middle between the, yeah, okay. there we go. So anyway, um, I just dearly love having uh, fellow coaches in because we get how important it is to really encourage people and help them and mentor them. You know, a good mentor believes more in you than you believe in you. And then our job is to help you grab it and own it and believe in yourself. So why are you so passionate about... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Carol, so I have been in a state of powerlessness. I grew up in a situation where my Me Too story started at age five. Okay, and it just went on and on and on. What do you mean, me life. too? What do you mean, me okay, too? Okay, so me too. In mm -hmm. case you, in case you haven't been on social media, started. Uh, it actually was a movement started by Tarana Burke, to 
empower young women who had experienced Thank sexual you. abuse. Yes. And um, then it was tweeted again by actress Alyssa Milano on October 15, 2017. And, and in a matter of a day, millions and millions of, of people all around the world added their stories. So it has kind of become a movement. And so yes. since that time, you know, um, it's taking off. In fact, it's going to be the topic of my first book, which is called Life Beyond Me Too, which is being published Love in 2019. It. Great. Which is about empowering the world to create justice and safety for everyone. And, and I coach on that. I coach on, on empowering women. Empowering women. That is so important. And I knew what you meant by me too. But I wanted for, for those for those of us uh, out there who maybe were not necessarily tuned in or just wanted clarification, the, the Me Too is basically about coming forward and um, and like you had said, you know, it's no one has the right to abuse anyone and women have been sexually abused and taken advantage of for eons and it's time that it all stopped because again God loves you he created you and guess what you have a wonderful gift of yourself and your message back to the world and of course that's I'm on my box I can tell right. so how did you get started in coaching so I actually hired a coach and yeah. it was so empowering to me because it helped me overcome automatic negative thoughts and limiting beliefs. And when I hired my coach, I really was better off in every way, really financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically. I lost weight. Uh, it was one of the best investments I, I really, I think, in my life. Yes. Than yeah. Having my faith. And I, I decided when I retired that I really wanted to study it to figure mm. out where the magic was. Yeah. So I did study, and as a result with Coach U and Corporate Coach U, I decided to get my certification from International Coach Federation, and I am also certified, I'm also a, an official member of Forbes Coaches Council, which is a pro peer professional community, and thankfully they've allowed me to be published in, in Forbes.com. Yay, I, yay, yay, yeah. yay. So okay. getting the good word out about yes. helping people, helping business owners, women business owners. And when people found out I was coaching, they wanted to pay me to do it. And I said, hey, why not? That sounds That's wonderful. right. <laughs> so I love it. It's been really so rewarding. I Most, started the business in 2015. Wonderful. Most of us as coaches uh, have gone to it. In other words, we're incessant learners, right? And so we we go to other coaches because coaches need coaches, right? So we go and we pick up the latest, greatest, best out there so that we can give the best to our clients. So I so appreciate that about you is that you are you're always uh, growing and, and making a difference. And you and I both were on a panel at a, an event not terribly long ago. And I loved, I loved what you shared. It was just great. And so that's how we kind of got hooked up. And I just love, I love working with women who are out there making a difference. It just means so much to me. So how do you empower your clients? So take a deep breath. Yeah. You're a listener now. Because the thing about you that you don't know is in that one place in your life where you're feeling disempowered, where you're feeling hopeless, there's what happens and then there's what you think about it. And so mm. much of the work I do with clients is on mindset, even business women, even business owners. It's about what is it that's keeping you from accomplishing what you want to do, let's step back, let's reframe, let's identify the obstacles, and let's create a plan, a strategy to overcome them. And coaching is magic because there's a creative partnership. Mm -hmm. So it's not just you alone stuck and being disempowered and being hopeless and no, being in the right, dirt. Right. It really is about you and your creative partner stepping back and tapping into the brilliance that God gave you. Absolutely. You right now. Right. And so you really do have solutions. And as a result, clients accomplish 
amazing things like, you know, get, uh, getting out of their slump, uh, mm -hmm. doubling their profitability for the first time in 27 years, you know, and having cash left over at the end of the year after hiring two employees for the first time ever. Or, I know, it's you know, great. Whatever the, or, or stepping into that role of VP and crushing it as in like everyone is on board and you're communicating your vision, you're communicating yes. the company's mission and values or turning around a negative results from a, a customer satisfaction survey or whatever it is that the, the goal is, we get it done. Absolutely. Results. It's so, Im yes, it's so important to, again, you, you mentioned, again, a, a key word for me, which is communication, because it's so important to learn how to communicate, which is why I do what I do uh, as a voice performance and presentation skills coach, but also in the value system around influence and biology, B-U-Y-ology called bank code. It's, and I know you work with core values as well, because it's so important that people understand, get in touch with their values. So tell me about your, the core value piece. I do. In fact, I went and got certified on using a tool called the Core Values Index. That's, yes. Uh, created by Lynn Taylor of Taylor Protocols. And the Core Values Index blew my mind when I first took it in you know, about 10 years ago. Um, I wondered who the heck was following me around because it was <laughs> so scary accurate. In fact, it has it has a ninety seven point seven percent repeat score wow. reliability, which is just kind of blows every other assessment I've used out of the water. Sure. When it comes to understanding the energy that you choose to work out of, so it's not a personality assessment, and it isn't it doesn't put you in a box. What it does is help you step out of a box and understand that there's different kind of energies and that we tend to use a certain kind of energy and that's kind of our most comfortable go-to energy. And when we're in a situation where that's not the most useful, that's where the fear comes in. Yes. And that's when we stop operating out of a place of contribution. Right, and you know, I teach this thing called HAIL, which is H-A-I-L. So it's H for honesty, A for authenticity, I for integrity and L for love. And that that kind of, uh, and I also work with the sweet spot of your voice, which is how you think, which uh, again, that energy emanates out of you and pushes people away or pulls them towards you. And of course, the actual voice, the actual two vocal horns, if you will, and then your body, because you speak volumes through all three. Yeah. And it, and so what you're you're speaking my language, girlfriend, because yes. w your values when you operate out of your own core value system and you stay in that, it keeps you in honest, authentic, integrity, and loving um, space, if you will, and energy, because that's so important. People read you like a freaking book. Speaking of reading yes. a freaking book. <laughs> I have read Carol's book, and if you haven't read Born to be Awesome, you need to get it, and you need to read it, and this oh, is in there, you. so please do. Thank you. Well, I so appreciate you, uh, Christine, and I know you've got a group coaching thing going on, right? I do. Yes. And, and in fact, I have a couple. Um, there's a workshop coming up in June that I'm doing with another coach uh, who is called Emmy Perez. She's a emotional eating coach and we're Ooh, doing I love it love it love it love called it called inspire radiance on june 12th you can it's on facebook events you can find it and um, you can also find it by emailing me at christine cr at christine rose dot coach and um, also on my facebook page which is at christine rose dot coach and i also have a women's biz lab group that's coming up in may and oh, nice. this is the time to sign up for that. If you are a business owner, a woman business owner, and you don't have a solid plan for your business, if you're not, if you've never put together a business plan and you're kind of just running it and taking it one day at a time, um, you can achieve amazing results. So we're going to do an assessment. Uh, it meets the first, it meets Mondays in May from noon to 1.30. 
and we're going to do an assessment of your business. You'll get the core values index assessment, and you will also do a, a business plan. We'll work on your, your mission, vision, values, strategy. Awesome. Plan. What's the name of that again? It's called Women's Biz Lab. Okay. Okay. And you can find out more um, by checking out my Facebook page at christinerose.coach or just email me cr at christinerose.coach and in addition to doing the planning the last the last week of that program is about putting teeth to the plan and it's about getting rid of the obstacles that are slowing you down i love it yeah. oh girls you've got to attend this um because christine will give you some incredible tools and again she turns results you know it's when you're a coach, it's all about turning transformation, helping people truly transform. And Christine's great at that. And I love doing that myself. So Christine, I, I want to bit back for a second with the value system, the CBI. Um, so how do clients benefit, really benefit from doing that CBI assessment, which you're going to be using in the lab as well? It is. So remember I told you that it was scary? Yeah. It was because it was like looking in a mirror. I could really yes. see myself. So it's an amazing tool for self-awareness to begin with. It's also an incredible tool for understanding um, who's on your team and how you communicate and how you handle conflict. And so when you have this knowledge, you recognize that, you know, that person isn't just being a jerk. You know, <laughs> we just... We, because, you know, or, or they're not, you know, they're not trying to be mean. No. But we have different styles and different energies that we yes. work out of. And different so, value systems, mm -hmm. and that means everything. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I work a lot with that as so well. So I use it for self-awareness, for team building and communications, and also for hiring. So to make sure that the energy of the person that you're hiring is the one that's, that, that's what's important. And passioning them that's what it fuels them and so when a person's working out of their energy it doesn't feel like work so you want that person who's an a player you know that you got the pareto principle at work where yeah right 20 percent of the people are accomplishing 80 percent yes right? so yes 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 hire those 20 percent absolutely so using the core values index as an employment screening tool can also really help you find just the right person for that job so that oh, it's the person it. who's passionate about it and when you're a business owner you know it, it's kind of you struggle sometimes finding people who are as passionate about your company and your mission as you are amen so we use yes this as a coaching tool to help you find the right people that's great understand them and help you know them and then help them know themselves so that right. everybody is operating at full speed for you that's great. Great, great, great. Oh, I love it. So, so good. So tell, tell us more about how can people find out about coaching in general? So you can go to my website, okay. which is www.christinerose.coach and, and just check out about coaching. So as a certified coach of the International Coach Federation, you know, that's a gold standard that I wanted to attain to because I want to make sure that my clients are getting the best. Absolutely. And so, you know, there are many different kinds of coaches out there, and you really need to be careful to evaluate and to determine, you know, how are they really going to help me? How are they qualified? And also just learn about coaching, you know, what coaches charge. That's all on the website. Uh, the study that the International Coach Federation did, they, they do every year. I post that on the website. And kind of how does coaching work? Oh, good. It's different from therapy. It's different yes. from yes. consulting in that the coach doesn't have the agenda. You have the agenda. And the coach partners with you to make sure you accomplish it. Well, and I love the old saying that says, if I tell you, you will forget. If I teach you, you may remember. But if I involve you, you will learn. And that's exactly what a good coach does. We, we get involved, if you will, with your agenda, your, your heart, passion, your goals, your, your dreams, if you will. But help you really map them out and accomplish them, right? Absolutely. Yes. So it's so exciting 
when you have wins and your clients call you and they're celebrating like they are jumping up and down because that thing that they put in they put off for five years finally happened or yes. oh they left work at five o'clock and took golf lessons and they are a better golfer <laughs> and they or their husband are now having a great time together or yes. they took that first vacation in 10 years. Self-care is so important to women and we can get so wrapped around our job or again, whether it be caring for your family or, or you know, a job for money. The thing is, we can get so wrapped around it that we forget to take care of ourselves. And self-care is so important and women are awful at it in general. Would you not agree? We are. And we're also, <laughs> you know, one thing that women need to work on is we need to toot our own horns a little bit more. So, yes. and we need to thank our community for the support we get from other women. So for example, I was I was honored to be nominated as the Small Business Person of the Year for 2018. I love it. Congratulations. On .com for Tacoma. And that happened because of community and people yes. just, you know, you want to, you want to take care when uh, when something good happens to you to share that. Absolutely. And I was really excited to be nominated and, and chosen as the top business coach on the International Association I of love Top it. Professionals. So, so real quickly, because we just got a, a little bit left here, but, but but I wanted to, um, yeah, because I wanted to... I wanted to ask you, what, what are the kinds of things that women come to you with? You know, what keeps them up at night? What are the kinds of things that women come to you with as a coach uh, that they just, oh, like, help, help, help? They're tired, okay, because they're doing so much, okay? So yeah. first of all, getting clear on their why, getting clear on their yes. priorities. Yes, yes, okay? yes, yes. And then also they're running businesses, and maybe the business is in a slump, Yes. And they need to figure out really quickly, you know, how do I turn this around? Mm -hmm. Or they are dealing with employees and needed to let some go and are trying to find great new employees. Or sometimes it's about, I will do some executive coaching and it is a, a person who's stepping into a role that's just bigger than what they think that they might be capable of. And so they've got that imposter syndrome and we make sure that they shine in that role. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Again, what is it you do in life that makes your heart sing? What is it you do in life that you feel God's pleasure, right? Mm -hmm. I, I so love much. sharing sharing those kinds of things with yes. people because most of us don't give ourselves permission to even think like that, to even think about, well, what do you mean makes my heart sing? What is it that just absolutely, it's like you're over the moon when you're doing whatever this is, you know that you know that you know you're in the right spot. It just feels so good. Yeah. yeah. It's like flow. Honestly, the time goes so fast. Yes, coaching. yes, yes, yes. You cannot believe how fast an hour goes because we get a lot done, but it's, you do. it's just yes. it's so rewarding. And I work, because I'm working with voice and with performance, I usually, my sessions will go, you know, 75 to 90 minutes long. And people, you know, at first they think, oh my gosh, that's a long time, but really it isn't. It just goes so fast. Uh, because you get so, you get involved, you learn so much. <laughs> that's right. Christine, it has been such an incredible pleasure to have you on today. I love, love, love you. I love what you do. And I want you out there, get a hold of Christine Rose Coaching. So it's uh, CR at, oh, right? CR at Christine Rose Coaching. Okay. And it's C H R I S T I N E. So yes, old fashioned thank you. Way of spelling Christine. Christine, like Christ, right? Christine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Christine Rose Coaching, or pardon me, dot Christine Rose dot Coach. Oh, Christine Rose dot Coach. Forgive okay. me. Let's do that again. C R so, at Christine Rose dot Coach. That's it. And so it's really easy to remember. And so I want you to get a hold of her. C R at Christine Rose dot Coach. That's all you need to know. Get a hold of her. Go to her website. You know what? She is so worth the time and energy, and you will love, love, love this woman, and you will gain so much good stuff from her. God bless you today, Christine, and God bless all of you out there. Until next time, it's Carol Stanley with that special touch of God's excellence in you. Bye for now. 
Are you aware that 93% of your communication is wrapped up in your delivery? Your words only make up 7% of your communication. Your delivery is in what I call the sweet spot of your voice. Hi, I'm Carol Stanley and I love bringing to business professionals and church leaders the magic of awesome, confident communication and presentation skills. Here are some vocal insights for the next time you are on stage giving a presentation. The sweet spot of your voice encompasses three things. First, your thoughts and mental focus. Second, your actual voice with all of its variances, projection and clarity. And three, how you carry yourself. First of all, let's start with the mental focus. You must keep your mind fixed on the fact that you and your message are a gift to your audience. Your mind must be on them, not you. Remember, your thoughts communicate louder than your words. As for your voice, it's vital that you learn to use both chambers of your voice so you can project clearly and with great variance and emotion through an open vocal system. Your breath support comes automatically when you know how to open up and use your voice correctly. Finally, your body speaks volumes as you speak or sing and present your message or song. Stand in healthy stature, up, open, and straight with an imaginary bungee cord attached to your head's crown and pulling you up to the ceiling. Your body must be strong but neutral with relaxed arms, comfortable at your sides or together in front of your midriff. Your thoughts, your voice, your stature and being grounded are critical to your being confident, calm and secure in your delivery and the gift of you to your audience. I hope that these vocal insights will help you prepare for your next presentation. I look forward to helping you transform into the star you know you are inside, making the difference you were designed to uniquely make, blessing others with the God-given gift of you. Visit my website, voiceperformancecoach.com, so we can stay connected. And there is a gift there for you. Well, good afternoon. This is Carol Stanley on That Special Touch of God's Excellence. And we just had a fabulous interview with um, Christine Rose coaching. So I want you to get a hold of her, <clears throat> CR at ChristineRose.coach. You know what? She, she will help you with your business. She is just a world-renowned coach and uh, just a delightful woman. And she's a believer and she just loves, she will love you, but help you. That's the bottom line. She will really help you. And so, you know what? <clears throat> we are on BD Local, and I'm not sure why we're getting that kind of sound, but that's okay. We're on BD Local, which is a fabulous video podcasting format. And I am so honored and privileged to be part of this, <clears throat> excuse me, because Again, I've spent years on camera doing television work and movie work and so forth. And you know what? It's just so nice to be able to see someone. And I know a, a radio show that I had done several years back was we had uh, – the webcam going out the whole time so you could always see us online. But I just love the fact that we're we're really – here we are together and we can see each other and really enjoy each other as we go through these segments and you can listen to us anytime we're on youtube we're on uh you know facebook and so here we are <laughs> we just really um we're here to serve, and it's a delightful format, bdlocal.us, or get our app. Just go to the App Store and get BD Local. It's a fabulous app, and you've got it with you, and so you can tune in anytime and enjoy what's got, what we've got going on, okay? Um, the other thing is my wonderful sponsor, Catherine Evans, is a fabulous insurance broker, and she is so heart-centered, and she will help you get exactly the products you need that it, that suit you uniquely. And so she deals with the Medicare, she deals with all kinds of insurance, but she can shop it for you brilliantly and help you. So it saves you so much time and energy. And, and she just gave us a little tip a little while ago about IRAs. You know, you have until uh, April 15th to 
do anything with those, give her a call at 253-861-2959. Again, 253-861-2959 because she can help you and really give you some incredible advice. She's got people that you know, didn't think they could afford to retire. And she, after working with her, my gosh, they're they're earning more and getting more out of their retirement than they ever dreamed they could. In fact, before they retired, they weren't doing as well as after they retired. So her her help is sound and very, uh, very, it, it's very um, lucrative to you, right? In, in many ways, <clears throat> because she really desires to help you. So we're going to start right in in this segment, as we do with uh, a lot of our segments uh, with BD Local, because it's that special touch of God's excellence in you, as my jingle always uh, introing in and introing or exiting out says, it's God's excellence in you, because he, he created us, you know, regardless of what your belief system is. The truth is still the truth, and God, the God of the universe. You know, so many people rely on the universe to tell them this or tell them that or bring them this or bring them that. And the truth is, the universe has no power, but God who created the universe has the power. <clears throat> so when you tune in to him, tap in through Jesus Christ to, to the God of the universe. And I know some people think that's very narrow, but in fact, it's the most broad most welcoming message on the planet because everybody is invited in to be connected with God through Jesus and and truly connected. I mean, you know, then you have the power of the Holy Spirit working for you in your life and it changes everything for the better. Absolutely everything. So <clears throat> I want to share with you my favorite, absolute favorite um, devotional which is Jesus Calling, and today is March 22, and so here we go. This is what Jesus says to you and I today. Rejoice and be thankful. As you walk with me through this day, practice trusting and thinking and thanking, pardon me, and thanking me all along the way. Trust is the channel through which my peace flows through you and into you. Thankfulness lifts you up above all circumstances. I do my greatest work through people with grateful, trusting hearts. Rather than planning and evaluating, practice trusting and thanking me continually. This is a paradigm shift that will revolutionize your life. And it's so true. I know in my coaching and in my training of people, I always, one of the first things I do is I I have them really evaluate things that they're thankful for and choose five to 10 today and five to 10 tomorrow that are different because being thankful will rock your world. It will change everything and it opens you up to hearing God speak to your heart. Um, <clears throat> Philippians 4, 4 says this, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say it, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. You know, be thankful. Have a have a good time. Have a party <laughs> with the Lord every day. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us, uh, yeah, let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. That speaks to my heart because I am a professional singer. I teach people how to sing professionally, present professionally and communicate professionally in a again I work with the thing called hail h-a-i-l honest authentic integrous and loving you want to come from that space of honesty authenticity integrity and love and uh, regardless of your personality or your value system regardless of those things when you come when you filter the beauty and uniqueness of who you are through honesty, authenticity, integrity, and love, you will always produce really good things. And you will produce an energy around you that people will be drawn to, regardless of your personality. And that is so cool because each of us are very unique. And when you understand how beautifully unique you are and your value system around influence, which is what 
I like to incorporate. I, you know, I am certified in DISC and I'm certified in uh, personality. Uh, plus, I'm certified in the personal style indicator out of Canada. Those are great tools. They're psychologically based, which is fabulous, absolutely fabulous for knowing who you are and for starting to really be able to observe other people and start to figure them out. But if you want a quick solution to understanding a person's value system around influence, around sales, certainly, around their biology, B-U-Y-O-L-O-G-Y, so their biology, then bank code is, is what you want. And I train on that, and I can explain it. I can come into your office and explain and you know, do a fabulous little intro. I'm doing another intro tomorrow in Black Diamond at the Black Gold Coffee Company on 3rd in Black Diamond tomorrow morning <clears throat> uh, from 10 to noon, where you can just hang out uh, from, you know, 10, you can get some coffee, you can get some lunch, you can just do your thing. But I'm going to be training uh, that intro on bank tomorrow. And I, you know, I loved coming into offices and doing that for people because it's so important that you understand how better to communicate based on the other person's need, not on yours, but on theirs. And it's a quick, uh, what I like to say, quick down and dirty way to, to not dirty at all, but it's it's a quick way to really understand <clears throat> the needs of another person. And the last but not least scripture here is, <clears throat> those who know your name, Lord, will trust in you, for you have never forsaken those who seek you. And that is so true. If we just if we just seek him, if we just trust him, trust is such a powerful thing. And trusting is, <clears throat> it's everything. You know, when you, in any relationship, and your relationship with God is all about trust and thankfulness. It truly is. I know I, I have an ongoing conversation with <laughs> God in my head all day long. If there's a parking lot, parking spot I say thank you Lord oh my goodness thank you and I always ask for his protection for his uh, again his guidance his protection every morning when I'm in my car leaving for wherever I'm headed out to or if, even if I'm staying home working on taxes or whatever it's I ask his protection and I find ways to be thankful because it it again it you feel your whole body shift because you know the spirit and they've proven this in science the spirit of god the sp whatever spirit you're allowing to drive you and of course i'm encouraging you let the spirit of god drive you but your spirit drives your mind your mind drives the physical brain and the brain drives the body so <clears throat> illness and success and happiness all come from how you're thinking they have proven, absolutely, uh, the experts, the brain I experts have proven that a high, high percentage, I think it's 85, 85 or 87 percent of all illness is traced back to how you're thinking. So important that you learn to be thankful, you learn to be positive, you learn uh, because you feel your whole body shift. You know, and, and the old saying, don't should on yourself, <laughs> those words, the word should, the word uh, I need to do such and such or I should do such and such will literally weaken your body. I do kinesiology so I can prove it to people that when you say, when you, when you say words that disempower you, your body goes weak. When you say empowering words to yourself, like, I want to do this, I choose to do this, then you get stronger. It's so in interesting how it works. And, of course, you want to always remember that it's not by, by your might, it's not by your power, but by the power of the Lord in you. That comes right out of Zephaniah, out of the Old Testament, which is a beautiful picture book that explains life, if you will, in word pictures. If you really want to communicate well with someone else, figure out what they're, like, what it, if they love to fish, then figure out word pictures around fishing if you want to communicate, for instance, how you're feeling. I feel like a fish that's just been you know, slapped up on the deck and stabbed or whatever. If I mean, find word pictures that help that person relate to what you're saying. 
when it comes to male-female communication, that's a really important piece. Word pictures really work well. And you, you never want to point your finger at them and say, you, you know, I feel this way when you. <laughs> it's, you really want to just keep it about yourself. I feel this way when this happens not when you do such and such, but because that makes a person defensive. So you want to keep it in the realm of what you're feeling, because you have a right to feel what you feel. But keep it in that realm of, I feel this when this happens, so that the other person does not feel defensive about it, but they can get into your world and understand where you're coming from. Uh, I wanted to share some things out of my book with you. It's um, because, again, it's the the secret, the the piece of the power, if you will, that really makes a difference in your life is the key that unlocks greatness in you is the spirit. So the vocal application, of course, the scripture is from Zephaniah 4, 6, and it's this, it's not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. You will succeed because of my spirit, though you are few and weak. We in our human condition are, are weak and we know it. At our very core, we know that we need something beyond ourselves to help us be all we can be and to succeed in life, you know? It's just a very important concept to understand, to have the right perspective of who we are and who God is. He sees you as pretty darn special. He sees you as perfect, really, in his eyes, because he created you to be that way. But we know that we're not. We know that we are on in route. We are in process to being what he sees, which is his beautiful grace. He sees us as a done deal, and he's willing to forgive us and help us and lift us till we get to where we can see what he sees. And so <clears throat> since our spirit guides our thoughts, the thoughts in our mind, which guide and influence our brains, which influence our bodies, you must allow God's spirit to connect to and influence and guide your spirit, thereby enabling you to choose your thoughts. To choose your thoughts well and experience complete health. The choices you make in and how you think determine your confidence in speaking and or singing. How you think and communicate with others when you speak or sing is dependent on inspiration from your spirit, your heart, your mind, and your passions. God's spirit is sound and will always give you what you need when you need it. Your credibility as a speaker or singer is vital, and it depends on this connection to God's spirit and knowing how to truly serve others with what they desire from you. His spirit in you truly unlocks your significant greatness and shines your spirit light brightly to others in many, many ways. Don't you love that? It's, it's, um, I just love the promise that God makes to us that his spirit is with us always and will guide us. It promises to teach us all things. So when you read scripture, it is his spirit that really is, is teaching you. You know, again, I'm going to share that old saying that says, if I tell you, you will forget. If I teach you, you may remember. But if I involve you, you will learn. So if I involve you, if you l allow yourself to be involved in God's word and really meditate on it day and night, you know, the idea of meditation is very healthy, but it's God's idea. He says to us always, in meditate on my word day and night, and it will change your life. I mean, my word's there. <laughs> it will change your life, but it will. It will change your life in a good way. <clears throat> so allowing allowing God's spirit to connect up with yours and to enlighten you and love on you and lift you and teach you be involved in his word you know think about it how can how does it apply to your life today if it's not by might not by power but by god's spirit how do i connect to that how do i tune in to what he might be saying to me today if you read his word 
and allow it to sink in. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things when you do that because his, <coughs> the Holy Spirit knows exactly how to interpret God's word and give you the best for you, which is why <coughs> you can read the word of God different times in your life, different times during a day for that matter, and you will always glean something new and different and wonderful because of how the Holy Spirit teaches you. So I encourage you to get my book, <clears throat> which is Born to be Awesome. You can find it on Amazon. And for those of you who love Kindle, you can get it on Kindle, and it's it's very inexpensive on Kindle. But you can get my book, hard copy or soft copy, on barnesandnoble.com or on amazon.com or just you know if you get a hold of me you can always get a hold of me at carol at voiceperformancecoach.com again carol c-a-r-o-l at voiceperformancecoach.com you know what it's time we just sign off for today we had a, a few extra minutes with our other segment and we want to be be really um what accountable and so forth to BD Local. They are so uh, easy to work with. I encourage you, get a hold of bdlocal.us. And you know what? They are awesome. If you want to have your own video podcast, get a hold of them. And if you want to be interviewed by moi or one of our other, certainly, podcasters, you can do that too. But until next time, it's Carol Stanley on that special touch of God's excellence. Have a blessed day. Be thankful today, okay? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. That special touch of God's excellence in you. That special touch of God's excellence in you. That special touch of God's excellence in you.